Hey, hello, what's up? Today... <laughs> Today I'm gonna be training my horse and I'm gonna bring you guys along and I'm gonna complain about everything that Star Stable's doing wrong because looks like that's what everyone is doing right now and I have nothing better to do with my time other than complain. No, I'm just kidding, but I'm gonna train my horse because I really need to train and I also need a video. So this is what's happening right now. This is what I'm doing. So, um, the Halloween update. Mm. I've heard a lot of mixed opinions. Um <laughs> I logged onto the game and I didn't read anything, I didn't look up anything, I didn't watch anyone play it, I was going into the game knowing nothing at all, right? So, sorry, I, uh, I, I was just really loud right there, so, I'm gonna tone it down a bit. <sighs> okay, so, I logged another the game not knowing anything at all, not knowing what was, what was happening with the Halloween update. Just kind of assuming that it was going to be, you know, the same as last year, and the year before, 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 and the year before. <laughs> because, you know, I don't know why, I just had a feel. <clears throat> um, I logged on, and, you know, I went to Galloper's Keep, got my Halloween outfit on, uh... Before you say something about the way I sound. Holy cow, no, please stop. Before you guys say something about the way I sound, I have a microphone coming in the mail. And I'm new at this, okay? Give me a break. Please break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. I started realizing that, um, every single time I would try to go into one of the portals in Galloper's Keep, um, you know, it would, like, restart the quest and it would say that, um, I needed the soul shards, right, to unlock the portal, to fix the portal. Holy cow. Um, and so I did what I do every year. I looked up on YouTube where, um, sorry, we're, we're having music now, that's just what's happening now. I looked up on YouTube where all the soul shards were, you know, soul shard location, same thing I do every year, and then I realized this year is a little bit different. Oh, okay, so, um, now I get to go around for an hour chasing a tornado to get one soul shard <laughs> and then I have to have five of those soul shards to um, to unlock one portal not to mention you know these portals are something that I um, have done every single year so I don't know I feel like I should be able to do them again this year um, but I don't get to, and now I'm just missing out on my favorite holiday because I don't have the time of day anymore mm -hmm. to put up with stuff like that. I can't go around for hours doing that. I, I can't. I just can't. I can appreciate Star Stable trying to make this year different, you know, like, but I... I, I was kind of used to having the same thing every year, which I don't like, but now I don't even get to experience the Halloween update that I literally waited for, for, um, longer than I'd like to admit. I waited for this update, and I don't even get to actually experience it, because I don't have time to run around for hours and hours to unlock one race and then do that all over again 
for every single portal. That's, it's, it's, I can't, it's crazy. So I'm sad I don't get to actually experience the Halloween update. Halloween is my favorite holiday. I love Halloween. It makes me so happy. And Halloween and Star Stable, I, I literally, every single year, I talk about it to everyone. I hype it up so much, and then this is what happened. And I, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of just like the man at the swing set, and I don't really know what to, what to even say. Like, I hyped it up for so long, and this is what we got. But you know. It's Star Stable. I, I don't know what I was even expecting, really. I, I really, I really don't know what to say. I don't train my horses enough, and I need to do it more, and I know that I need to do it more, and um, this is how I'm getting myself to do it. So, we'll see how this works. So, dream updates. Even though no one wants to hear my opinion, no one really cares, especially not the star of the state. But, um, first dream update of mine, personally, that I, I know is not going to happen, but I have to throw this out there. I want the old fjords back, because I never got one, but that's just me being selfish and upset. But, man, I regret that so much. I regret that more than anything in this game. I regret not getting one. I didn't know, okay? I was a little kid. They said, oh, they're updating the fjords. Uh, make sure you get an old one while you still can. I didn't know, okay? I, I'm, I was, I was dumb and young and I didn't know. So I didn't get an old one. I, I didn't realize I didn't realize then how much that would affect me as a person today because that's one of my biggest regrets in life is not getting the old model fjord which is is pretty lame of me to say but yep that's one of my biggest regrets <laughs> moving on to actual dream updates that i think are more of a possibility than that which is obviously never gonna happen but please don't break my 15 year old heart that is still inside me i want the cultures back i want the cultures back so badly i miss them i i rarely i barely remember i barely remember them but i've watched so many videos of them leaving that i can practically quote the storyline of that. You know, they left and back then when I did the quest, I didn't really think it was that important, but now I want them back so badly. First of all, there was a, what? There was a dinosaur or some type of beast creature that was roaring beyond the ice and gate. And Avalon was like having dreams about something disastrous happening in Dino Valley. And then all of a sudden the cultures leave and they don't say why. And that was probably one of the biggest like mysteries and like probably one of the scariest things to happen in a Star Stable like quest line. So, you know, you would think that they would, like, follow up with that and continue it so that we can, like, figure out what what happened to the falters and what's in Dino Valley. Um, but there's nothing. There's nothing. And sometimes I feel like there's hope and they'll add them back one day. Um, and then other times I just feel like it's not going to happen. Um... Because, for instance, Star Stable got a new um, CEO, right? I don't, I don't remember his name. The 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 Swedish dude, the the football guy. <laughs> Anyways, 
they got a new CEO and they moved to headquarters or something. I'm not positive. I don't know enough about it. Um, my friends have said that they moved and the folklore Star Stable book got lost in the move. I don't know if that's true. But, um, regardless of if it's true or not, I know for a fact that the folklore and everything in this game has been totally messed up since the CEO change or whatever it was. So, um, that makes me feel like I shouldn't even expect to ever see the Culters again, ever. I should just give up all hope of that. That's how that makes me feel. And I don't like that feeling. <laughs> I don't like that feeling. That scares me because what else did I spend time, you know, reading stories about and everything that is just not important anymore. Doesn't matter. Just isn't going to mean anything anymore in the game. That that makes me so sad. It makes me not want to play the game anymore. And the worst part about that is probably the fact that I don't think Star Stable really cares if we decide to quit the game or not because they have millions of other people playing their game, making them money. So I just feel very, very unimportant to Star Stable. And there was a point in time where I felt like Star Stable really cared about our opinions and really cared. You know, I would like message them and they would actually answer or comment on a post or something and they would actually answer and they would actually be helpful or email them or whatever they would really care they would care and I understand the game is a lot bigger than it used to be so obviously there's not gonna be like as long drawn out answers they've got more things more people to worry about I feel like Anything that I want in the game, I'm just not gonna get. Which is kind of how I feel in real life too, you know? <laughs> it's just sad, and I wish that Star Stable tried harder to make players, especially older players, I have to put that out there. I wish they tried harder to make older played players and players in general feel like they care more because as time progresses it feels like they care less and less and I feel like our opinion should matter so much if I was a game developer I would take in everyone's opinions into like deep 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 thought not so much that I didn't get any work done or didn't sleep at night but I would care about everyone's opinions and I do care about everyone's opinions for instance um as someone trying to be an influencer I care about people's opinions and if something happened and I somehow got like thousands of followers or whatever I would still care about every single one of those people's opinions people matter so much to me and people's opinions matter so much to me and if I was a game developer, I would take into consideration everyone's opinions and I would make them feel like I care because that's how you grow a strong fan base. Right now, they used to have a strong fan base and now it kind of seems like their fan base is just a bunch of little kids who are going to, um, you know, get their parents to buy them Star Rider, buy them Star Coins, and then six months later, they're gonna delete the game and never get it again. Um, and Star Stable's getting money from that, so I guess it's working out for them, but like, it's, it's not working for me. It's not working for me. I don't know, I... 
I just wish they cared more, but I know they've got to they've got to keep making money and they need money to run the game. And I've heard, you know, the Star Stable White Knights like saying that like, "Oh, they need money. Like they've got to add this and this and this." I know, but don't you think that they would make more money or at least the same amount of money if they just um actually like listened to everyone's opinions and like added stuff that we want them to add or get rid of stuff that we want them to get rid of then what about all the older players that you know are going on starcoin strike and not buying things from the shop or anything they would start buying things again so therefore star stable would be making more money i feel like if they cared about their players' opinions and what we want. I think Star Stable, um, right now, every single time. I get on the game I feel like there's nothing to do and I know way too many people that feel the same exact way and I think Star Sable really needs to focus more on storyline quests I don't know if I can consider that one of my dream updates but I feel like they need to focus on story quests main quests they need more we need more I think it would be amazing if we were able to get to like level 30. I think that would be so cool. Obviously I wouldn't get that anytime soon, but um, I think it would be so cool to know that there were players out there that have level 30 because they just keep adding quests. Um, I've seen videos and like demonstrations of what it's like adding quests to the game not this game specifically but just games in general adding quests to games um i don't think that it should be that hard i don't think that they should add them as little as they do like i i feel like they should be able to add quests at least once every two weeks i think that that would be amazing I would have a reason to keep coming on to the game. I just recently finished all of my reputation quests. I have no reputation. I have no quests at all, other than of course the Galp Keep quests right now because I don't plan on doing those. But um, I finished all of my quests. So right now, there's no reason for me to even come on this game. There's no reason for me to log on. There's no reason for me to play the game. If I knew that Star Stable was adding quests every week or every other week, I would come on so much more often. And to be completely honest with you, I would buy more Star Coins because the more I play, it is just a known fact of history. The more I play this game, the more money I spend on the game. So, if they added quests every other week, I would come on so much more. I would buy star coins more often. I would play more. I would play the game more. I would get other people to be active more. And they would make more money. They would make more money if they simply added more quests. I truly believe that. I believe they would make way more money if they added more quests. They could add a horse one week and a quest the next week if they are so money hungry and want to add horses all the time. They could do that. They could add horses one week and story quests another week. And that would be such a small change and I'm sure people would still complain because people always have something to complain about. But the smallest change like that would give them more money and that's what they want, right? And I know people don't like uh, the words money hungry. Um, I don't mean, I'm, I'm not trying to sound like a negative Nelly, but 
I, I understand that you need money to live. You need money to run a game. You need money to have a house. You need money to pay bills. I get that now more than I ever would have in the past. I get that so much. I understand that money is an important necessity of life. And I wish I was, I wish that it wasn't, but it is. And I get that it is, but a simple change like adding more quests on the weeks that they you know are just adding horses i think would make such a big difference to the players that have been loyal for years and years and have been around forever and if i have to mention this the players that have spent thousands of dollars on the game and would gladly spend more if they just felt like they were getting what they wanted or at least what we thought we were paying for years ago when we spent money thinking that this was a game that had you know endless quests and endless things to do so we decided to buy star rider we decided to buy lifetime we decided to buy horses and star coins and all this stuff we decided to buy it and then a few years later realized that the game just is completely changing because of new ownership and all of that stuff. They need to keep the same game that we spent thousands of dollars on in the past. Because if they did that, then people would still be spending that much. I don't know what the Star Stable management sees, so I don't know if you know, they're making more money than ever before. They probably are. Um, and that's why it's so sad. And that's why it's so scary. Because if they're making money more now than ever before. And they're rarely, you know, they're not doing much work. They're just adding the same thing all the time. And they're making more money. That's easy money to them. They don't have to work hard. They have to do the same thing all the time. And they get money out of it and that's what's scary about the path that the game is going because they want easy money but if they tried hard to make the game better I don't know if they would get much more money so it would feel like their efforts weren't like worth it they would be worth it to us, but it wouldn't really be worth it money-wise to them. And that's what's sad, because I don't think they care enough, and I don't think that they will care enough anytime soon to work harder to make the game nicer for us older players if they aren't going to get anything out of it, if they aren't going to get any more money out of it. So I think that this is just the way that Star Stable is going. And we just kind of have to sit back and watch, which is really sad. And this game is emotionally attached to me. I met the best friends I will ever have for the rest of my life. And I genuinely am certain of that. I met on this game. And this game has an emotional attachment to me because of the fact that I've spent so much on it. So I feel like I can't stop playing the game. And that's not a good reason to have people playing the game. So I talked about the cultures and I think of my next dream update. A lot of my dream updates really just have to do with that general area. Hollow Woods and Dino Valley, they need updated. Hollow Woods has been the same since the game came out, I'm pretty sure. Um, they have not updated it. And they updated pretty much every other area except for Hollow Woods and Dino Valley. And I've had people say that they like that Hollow Woods is how it was a long time ago because of the nostalgia. And I understand that, but I don't agree with it. Um, I think we've all learned 
that we kind of have to let go of the old star stable sometimes and just accept that it's not going to ah we kind of have to accept that the old star stable is not returning and part of that is just hoping that the game will be better here on out as much as i love the old star stable i think that you know the new which i guess is not so new anymore um revamped silver glade i think it looks amazing i think it looks great it doesn't look like the same game and i completely understand why that's sad for so many people because i am also an old player but i think that it still looks good i think it looks really good and i think it looks wrong with half the map being updated and half of it not being updated so it's really simple and i really don't think that they are going to do it anytime soon because they're so focused on adding you know the same thing all the time and that's what's just kind of freaking me out and steering me more towards playing other games and finding other games to replace Star Stable because I can't really expect the game to really get any better in the ways that I want it to. I think that they would do an amazing job updating Hollow Woods. I think that a lot of the reason why we kind of don't want them to because of the nostalgia, I think the only reason people use that excuse is because we're afraid that they're going to mess it up. <laughs> and they probably will. They probably will, but I think that it's more important that the game matches the rest of the game. I think that Hollowoods needs to match the rest of the map. The reason that I think they're probably going to mess it up is because they are having a tendency to make everything look like a knockoff version of Mistfall. Um, the game looks like Mistfall in Mistfall. The game looks like Mistfall in Moreland. The game looks like Mistfall in Greendale. The game looks like Mistfall in Wildwoods. Everything in the game really just looks like Wildwoods. It looks like Mistfall. And um, that needs to be fixed. I am afraid that they're going to update Hollowoods and I'm just going to feel like I'm in the Redwood Forest in Wildwoods. I don't want to feel like that. I want them to make it be Hollow Woods updated. Um, when Star Stable updates things, quote unquote updates, um, they just completely change those things. That's not what update means. They're just supposed to make a upgraded version of the thing that is already there. Um, kind of like the horses. They've been doing pretty good with upgrading the, you know, old generation horses. Um, I have mixed opinions on different ones, but that's for another time. But they can't call it a, you know, revamped area when it's just a completely different area. It's not even the same area. Moreland, they did amazing when they revamped Silverblade. It looks like an upgraded version of Moreland. It looks so good, but Wildwoods is so messy. It's all clumped together, and I still, to this day, cannot find my way around there, and normally I would have enjoyed that because it's like, you know, it's a new area. It's something new to explore, but it's not like that. It's just like, no matter how many times I explore Wildwoods, I'm never going to know my way around it because it's just a mess. It's like trying to navigate a county dump. <laughs> and honestly, I like I like Wildwoods. I like things about Wildwoods, but it's so messy. I can't actually look at it without my eyes hurting. There's so much going on. It's it's way too much in my opinion, and I rarely see people there, and I rarely go there. 
Um, once you're done with the quest, there's really no reason to go there unless you're training your boat. That's just the truth. If they updated Hollowoods, they can make it look so, so good. They can make it look so good. Get some big, thick trees. Really tall trees going all the way up to the sky. Um, you know, dark green. Keep all that. I think it would look so cool if they gave, like, an enchanted forest type vibe. You know, like, maybe some fireflies. Um, make it darker than other parts of the world. I don't know if they could do that, but it would be so cool if it was just a very shaded area. I mean, it's, I don't know. When I think of hollow woods, that's what I think of. I think of a dark, deep forest and hollow woods is small and they can't change the size of it, obviously. So it's going to continue to be small, but they could make it feel bigger by adding and taking away certain things that's just you know the trick of uh the play of the eye i guess it's just something that is known you can make areas look bigger when they're not actually big that's just something that you can do and they could do that in one of the main quests there was fog in hollow woods recently I guess it wasn't really that recently. I've really been neglecting this game since, you know, obviously the way I feel about it is perfect right now at this moment. But, um, they had hollow woods in fog, and I think it looked so good. Um, obviously it could have been better, but that got me excited because seeing that. And not to mention, just having a main quest being put in Hollow Woods in general was just, like, something I was not expecting. And it was the best surprise ever. It got me really excited. It made me feel like maybe, you know, they were focusing on that area again. They were finally looking at this area again and giving off, like, the little hints that they do, like, hey... You know, we know that Hollowoods is still here. We know it's still here. We're looking at it. We got you. We're here. And it got me really excited because I felt like I could expect sometime soon for them to just focus on Hollowoods again. Or I guess for the first time ever in game history. Like... I don't know what they, what problem they have with Hollow Woods. They just don't want to touch it. Um, but that got me so excited. I thought like maybe they're thinking about adding fog, and you know, it would look so cool. It would look so nice and mysterious. And I think it would be cool if it looks kind of spooky. Honestly, I think that would look awesome. I know that I had to consider everyone's opinions because if my opinion was the only opinion that mattered, this would probably be a horror game. <laughs> but like, even if it was just a little bit spooky, you know, not too much, I think that everyone could be okay with that. I mean, more okay than having it look the same as it always has. I think that at this point, any change at all in Hollowoods would be an upgrade. So, I... I got so excited for no reason and that makes me really sad because I really want to see that that's something I want to see so badly I think that at some point somebody did say or Star Stable said at some point that they were planning on like updating Hollow Woods I don't know. I mix everything together because a lot of it is just talk of the town and a lot of it is um, stuff that old Star Stable said and you know obviously like there's new people now. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it was but I thought that they said they were going to update it or looking at it but obviously they're not thinking about that right now um i really want them to think about it they i think that they need to focus on making 
Apollo Woods match the rest of the game. So, another one of my dream updates is not necessarily an updated Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur, which I guess technically that would be part of it, but as unrealistic as this is, I would love if they made a home stable in Dino Valley. Um, one thing I would be worried about though is I like how the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur is always empty. It's cold and desolate and there's always no one there and I love that. But if they didn't put a home stable in it and honestly now that I say that I don't know if I would want them to. I have mixed feelings about that. I definitely absolutely want them to put a dressage arena into Dino Valley. Just a paddock. Just simply a paddock. Like, it's it's so simple. I wish that they just would have put one in there to begin with, because then obviously no one would be using it, because it would just be something that was there. But people like me would use it. I love winter. I love snow. And I love Dino Valley, regardless of the fact that Regardless of the fact that it is not updated and it has old graphics, I don't care. I love Dino Valley. I love Dino Valley. And if they had like a frozen, broken up arena, you know, it could just be like wood fences that are like kind of, you know, like torn apart from like the weather and the wind and the snow and kind of like falling over. Like those old, old winter dinosaur games that you play on your, on your phone. And there's like, you know, broken fences and stuff that you can just like walk right over. Something like that. I think that that would be so amazing. I, I know that it would be so amazing. It would make me so happy if they did that. In order to add an arena randomly in an area they're gonna have to revamp it. They're gonna have to update it basically like they did with Steve's. Um, Steve's wasn't my favorite. I know that it's kind of a good place for people to role play now, but personally I don't do role playing. And um, also, Steve's kind of feels like Starshine Ranch to me now. Like, really, really, really feels like Starshine Ranch to me. Which is weird. But, I mean, we're all used to it now, obviously. But I could still vividly picture how Steve's used to look in my head right now. But, I'm okay with the new Steve's. I think it looks nice. It doesn't look like Steve's, but it does look nice. I don't think anyone can really argue with that. It looks nice. It just doesn't look like Steve's anymore. Um, but they would have to revamp Dino Valley, and I want them to do that just as badly as I want them to revamp Hollow Woods, but I don't know. Hollow Woods is probably my number one dream update, so I would say I don't want them to update Dino Valley as much as Hollow Woods because I like Dino Valley how it is, and I don't want them to ruin it. Whereas Hollow Woods just looks like crap. Hollow Woods looks off. They just need to update it. I'm not worried about them ruining it because I genuinely don't think that they can make it look any worse. Um, and that's saying something because I could complain about Star Stable all day if I really wanted to. But I still love the game and I really don't think they could make Hollow Woods any worse. So I want them to update that, number one. But I want them to update Dino Valley and not mess it up. I want it to still feel like Dino Valley. Dino Valley gives off this cold, desolate vibe where you're the only person there for miles and, you know, it's it's a scary place. It's probably one of the scariest places in the game because you just feel alone, but at the same time you feel like you're not alone in the worst way possible. 
and I love that, and that's why I love Dino Valley. It it makes you feel chilled to the bone. It makes you feel like you're actually there. And, you know, I want them to do that, but I don't want them to mess it up. And I really don't even know how they would go about doing that without messing it up. It would be so difficult. It would be so hard. But I hope that they figure it out. Another dream update that I have that I kind of feel like it's more possible than I used to is that we could have weather. Because I know that they don't really want to add weather because some people like rain, some people like sunshine, some people like, you know, people like different things. So, they can't really just add weather, and I understand that. I know a lot of people like suggest that they could have an option where you could turn it on and off, and I think that's a great idea. It's really simple, it's... It's just a small little thing on my wish list, but I really want Star Stable to add weather. Um, maybe even seasons. Maybe they could just have, you know, different copies of the world, different presets, where there's winter, fall, um, summer, and spring. And they're they're getting better at that now, but I I want it I want it badly. I want it so badly. I'm so, I'm sure you can tell. <laughs> But, I think that that would be amazing if they did that. That would make me so happy. So, I know I've seen some videos even recently, back from like 2019 that I'm just, you know, watching again. Or just kind of going on a little adventure through the YouTube side of Star Stable, or the Star Stable side of YouTube, I should say. Um, and people thought that they wouldn't be able to make it so that we could, um, we could change the time of day for us without it changing for everyone else, because, you know, that would be too hard for them to implement, and they did it. They did it, and... It's not something that I personally really wanted, but I love that they did it because something small like that makes me feel like I can have a little bit of hope that they're still listening to what certain players want. Because I know that a lot of YouTubers love the fact that you can change the time of day now. Maybe they need to record a video where it's nighttime. Maybe they need to record a video where it's daytime. We finally have that option now. And I personally have not even used that feature yet. I don't know why, I just, I just don't. Um, I kind of like how it feels to get on a game and have it be daytime. And then when the sun sets in real life, it sets in the game. I love that feeling. I love games like that. That's one thing that Star Stable has going for it that I wish that Red Dead would have. Personally, I think it would be really nice if, depending on the game server you were on, it was daytime when it was daytime in real life. And then when the sun sets in real life, it sets in the game. I love games like that. Um, but the fact that they made it so that we could change the time of day, I think it's so special. I'm pretty sure that I'm similar to other Order players when I say, Whoa! I have a lot of dream updates, so obviously I can't share all of them in one video, but I hope that you guys enjoyed listening to me rant about a game that I've spent over a thousand dollars on and I do genuinely love, but you know, there's always room for improvement, especially in the gaming world and I just think that it's so important for people to voice their opinions and you know be hard on someone be hard on game developers be hard on people that you know try to push people to be better because 
we really probably wouldn't grow much if we didn't have people who are hard on us. Usually the people who don't have anyone going hard on them or pushing them are the people that really don't grow as much in life. So I think it's really important that we push people to be better. And I think that that should definitely apply in a video game where millions of people play. And I think that we should voice our opinions more so that Star Stable will listen. But as much as I do complain, I do love this game. And this game will always have a special place in my heart. I want to hear what you guys think about my opinions. And I want to hear your opinions too, because they do matter, even if they aren't the same opinions as me. I really would like to do more training videos. I want to know that people will actually watch them though, because it takes so much more time than you would actually believe to record videos, to think of what to say, and to edit them. Even if there's little editing, it still takes a lot of time to edit a video, because we've got to go through and watch the video over and over again and make sure that we didn't miss anything. That alone takes up so much time as you can see how long this video is even though i really doubt anyone is still watching at this point i have to watch this video like probably at least four times before i get to post it for you to not even watch it once so it really does take a long time so i don't want to really make more unless i know people are actually watching them <laughs> I think that's pretty like self-explanatory but if you enjoyed it please leave a like please comment because i love comments so much and please um subscribe if you haven't because i've been stuck at the same number of subscribers for years and i'm tired of looking at it so please please help me out here subscribe to my channel leave a comment Tell me what you want me to talk about in the next video because I need topics. Um, I may do like, you know, a Q&A so like you could ask questions in the comments and after I get enough then I'll make a new video at answering those questions. I don't know. I, I want to figure this out. I want to connect with you guys. I'm trying so hard. So please, please, please interact with this post in some way. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have an amazing day or night. I will maybe see you next time. Bye-bye.